and read every one of these, eventually we become completely self-sufficient. Little self-contained units, all growing our own veg and, and baking our own bread and servicing our own cars. Yes, and thatching our own roofs. Well, if we are going back to nature, we might as well be picturesque about it. <laughs> Anything I do it myself would certainly be picturesque. Well, I thought you must be something of an expert with buying these. Oh, it's not for me. Good Lord, no, no, it's for Uncle Albert. Oh! But he's the one that's going to build a 40-foot solar reflecting greenhouse, isn't he? A little lean-to in his backyard, actually, to start his tomato seeds up. Still, people are being very enterprising all of a sudden, aren't they? Uh, oh, you mean uh, Rita going off to Tenerife? Yes. Oh, a plain love landed hours ago. She'll be probably all unpacked and lying by the pool now, I shouldn't wonder. Uh, with a glass of something long and cool in her hand. Mm. Me? I just hope Uncle Albert's got the kettle on. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. You fancy him, don't you? No, of course I don't. He's just a customer. You can fancy customers, can't you? And I reckon you do. Well, I reckon it's time you got off to school. Oh, you're not going to stop me no rock and bossing how she's gone, are you? Yes. Yes, I am. Thought you might. And don't be cheeky. Must I have mascara in my marmalade? And must you do that down here? It's warmer. Here, do we want to sort this lot out? There's 18 million pairs here. I've no idea who's is who's. Simple, then with holes in his yours and then without mine. <sighs> Which is mine, may I ask? Then with only one left. <laughs> oh, my, we are sharp this morning, aren't we? You're supposed to keep yours separate. And you're oh! supposed to keep yours separate, and oh, all. Oh, look, you've smudged me. Oh, I look like a rotten clown. And that's before she's got her makeup on. <laughs> oh, look, there are too many people in this house. Oh, I don't know. I think it's dead cosy. Well, you didn't live here before you lived here, did you? Oh, that's true. He must have been dead miserable. If being miserable is having a quiet cough and a smoke, well, then I'll take misery, thank you very it's much. It's not my fault you splattered powder all over your toast. You what? Oh, flaming Emma. Now, that's it. I want you out. Out, do you hear? It's her powder. Oh, look, there's nothing personal, love, but it's just one of the rules of the house. The last in is the first out. And besides, it was it was never supposed to be a permanency, you lodging here. That's true. Well, I'll start looking for somewhere. Then. In earnest? No, in Weatherfield, it's more convenient. <laughs> Hey, I think I'll write to Rita, see what's going on out there. I fancy a complete change. I uh, think I'll join you. If I lived out there, I wouldn't have to bother with this gunge. I'd have a year round sometime. What? He said looking like a pasty-faced little weasel with black eyes. I... I'm glad you're going. Sugar it. Oh, are you trying to get round me? Does no harm to keep him with, boss. Well, go on, then. You can have a chocolate biscuit with it. I don't think it's going to become a habit because it's not. I think I'll give work out some to do. Go fishing or something. Play truant. Oh, Darren, you won't. Who's to know? I'll know and you know. Well, I'm not going to say no. I doubt you will. To be minus one pair of blood. It's an idea you don't want now, do you? Shh. What is it? Where did you hear something? Like what? Like somebody moving about upstairs. There's no one up there, is there? Well, there shouldn't be. Would you like to go and have a look for me? Why don't you go? Well, it's probably nothing, just at the door banging. Or a mouse wearing footy boots. If you're really worried, why don't you down 999? I've got to go on this register or summit. Getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Call out to copper, let's have a whopper. But get me to the church on time. I'm gonna be there in the morning. I can't believe it. <laughs> Will you blow your nose, stop <laughs> sniffing. Getting married to Mr. Fairclough. See that wet? See that dry? Cross my heart and hoped. What do you mean to Mr. Fairclough? Who else would I be making an honest man out of? Their line pilot. Hey, what did they say when he didn't go with a very cross? Well, Chief Steward didn't actually clap his eyes on me, otherwise he would have been. And have they actually called you for it? I'd almost got through passport control. Or well, to be accurate, I was just walking through the gate when I suddenly saw this fella sitting there mm. in the checksum. And he were a dead ringer for Paul Newman. And the full horror of it suddenly came over me. Oh, 
thought you were leaving your loved one behind. No, that I'd have to show this Paul Newman my passport photo. Well, he'd only have out laughing, oh, wouldn't he? Right. <laughs> so I trolled back to where Len was sitting, and I said, if their offer's still open, I'll take it. And Daff Lomax hadn't sense to say no. Because he loved you. That's why I asked you in the first place. And I thought it was for me mushy pee. <laughs> oh, are you thrilled? Do I have to be? You're thrilled enough for both of us. Do you want me to say it? Yeah, yeah, I do. Shall I say <laughs> it? Go on. I'm thrilled. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, I am. I'm very, very happy. Well, that's something you don't hear a lot of people saying these days. No. And this time, I'm not going to change my mind. Oh, I should hope not. No, you deserve to be happy. You both do. And if there's anything I can do, you know, as a friend. Like... Well, <laughs> as a friend, there is. Yeah. Will you lend me a pair of panties? Oh. And a nighty. It's a pity we don't take same size feet. Well, I didn't actually get on plane, but my flaming luggage did. I just hope that bikini's behaving itself in Tenerife without me. <laughs> oh, Rita. Oh, Rita. Are you sure she's wrapped up properly? No, she's only got a nappy on because I want her to be a nudist. Of course she's wrapped up properly, you pudding. I do know how to look after babies, you know, as well as husbands. Oh, all right, superwoman, I get the message. You're very put upon. Nah, I'm only having a little moan. I don't mind coming down here a couple of mornings. It gets me out of the house, keeps me in touch with what's going on, and it saves you from hiring another typist. Mm, you might be a bit more smart and sexy than what you are. Exactly. Oh. Hello, young lovers. Buddy, I'll look at him. <laughs> oh, girlfriend off to foreign parts for three months. You might think he'd try to look at least a bit miserable. I'm not. Why not? He was like a bear with a sore bum yesterday. She's not. Not what? Gone. She hasn't gone to Tenerife. Well, you took her to the airport. I know, and I fetched her back again, didn't I? You mean she's changed her mind? Changed her mind last night, and very soon her name. Listen, it's a bit early in the morning for... Hey, he's not... <laughs> it is. You're getting married, aren't you? <laughs> oh, when? Soon? <laughs> yeah. Terrific. Hey, Tracy, did you hear that? Your uncle Thanks, Len's mate. going to be a blushing bridegroom. <laughs> Clap handies. They're all the same, you know, the stone barmy. <laughs> You don't look a very unhappy member of the club, anyway. Oh. Is she here today as our typist or your missus? Our typist. Right then, typist. It's too early for champagne, so get the kettle on. Oh. Hey, do you reckon she really meant it? Well, like Elsie says, it's nothing personal, but she never said it was permanent. Yeah, I know, but I sort of hoped it'd work out that way. Yeah, the trouble is there's such a lot of you. There's only one of me. Yeah, but you're not exactly a dwarf, are you? And it is only a little house, and there are two of us living there already. No, oh, cut me legs off and call me shorty. Hey, love, we've got a visitor. Oh, it's a bit mucky. Well, you'd be a bit mucky too if you spent all night in back alley. Hello, hey, love. How do you know it ain't got a perfectly good kennel waiting with wall-to-wall -wall bones? Oh, look at it. It's a stray. Homeless, unwanted. Takes one to no one. Da, 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 oh, go and get something to eat, will you? Like what? Well, a bit of pork in the fridge or a few slices of bacon. Well, go on, shift yourself. Who's a little lump then? Lovely boy. Oh, hey, and it's mothers like you, you know, that get pubs of back men. Parking your prams outside there and then coming in here getting filled up with gin. It's not gin, it's lime and soda. She's not part of the street, she's part in your yard. Now I'm only in here for a couple of minutes, any more can play. You don't think she'd miss out on the main event, do you? Not in a million years. How do you know if they'll be in? Wanna bet? No. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Avignon? Practical joke. You don't get mad for a practical joke, true. Yeah, well, I'm baffled. I was in the shop this morning. There's no sign of Rita. And according to Mavis, she was safely ensconced in Tenerife. Right, it's a very fast-moving scene round here, Ken. You've got to be young and nippy like me to keep up with it. Well, if it's true, I hope they'll be very happy. No, oh, I think they will. Yes. Yeah. I've had a few rounds though, haven't they? I mean, Elder and me never had a round, you know? Not till after we were wed. Well, exactly. Most people save the rounds after they got married, don't they? So you could say they've got over the worst. <laughs> well, that's all. <laughs> Hello, Hello. What were we just talking about? I can't imagine, mate, what? The Euro butter mount. I, <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> I uh, take it, I've got to take your number out of my little black boot. Well, you'll have to see me for dancing. If you don't, mate, they'll thump you. <laughs> hey, come on, get them all oh, in, Congratulations. Hey, are you wishing it were you, sunshine? You've been nasty. No, look, I, I was just wishing it were me, that's all. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Hey, Bags and I first kiss off, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll get another one then, won't I? Mm. Hey, that's enough. Go on, you spoil sport. I wish you much happiness, the pair of you, and I mean it. Thank oh, you, thank you. Come here, kid. Hey. Thank you. Hey, now then, get him in now. But angels are so few. Hello, visitors. I thought you was at your dinner in Rovers. Oh, not today, Chuck. I'm having it here today. Seeing as I didn't have a nice, quiet, peaceful breakfast time, I'm having a nice, quiet, peaceful dinner time. Just me, a tub of cottage cheese, and Harold Robbins. I just nipped back from shop to feed, um... Albert. Oh, I was uh, waiting to be introduced. He's a stray. Yes, he'd have to be, wouldn't he? Nobody in their right minds would admit to owning him. He just came at the yard this morning and me and Gail felt that sorry for you him. You cordially invited him to join Elsie's zoo. See who that is. And if it's an homeless elephant, tell it the bat's full. Shh. You, Albert. Me, Muggins. How do you do? Hello, darling. Have you got a minute? I want a word. Oh, I'll have several when she skedaddles and takes her four-legged flea bag with her. <laughs> Where? Well, anywhere, but out of it. Now, look. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You've been wined and dined, now off it. Here. Why, Albert? Oh, it was Gail's idea. She said he looked a bit of a scrounger. <laughs> oh, dear old Albert will be pleased. Go on, skedaddle. Come on, love, we know we're not wanted. Shh. You know, all I ever wanted in my old age was a bit of peace and quiet. You'll get it, darling, in your old age. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, Rita's back. Don't be daft. She's in Tenerife. She's not, you know. She changed her mind at the airport last night. Changed her mind? Yep. Why? We're getting married. Fancy. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. How am I supposed to take that? You're supposed to take it the way it's meant. I hope you have better luck than I did. I really mean that. Well, some marriages work, you know. I mean, yours weren't all bad. Oh, no, not all bad. Just bits. Well, that's what we're hoping for. Well, neither of us think we're going off hand in hand into the sunset forever and ever, amen. No. Well, if it's what you want. It's what we both want. Yeah. You know, she's given up an awful lot to stop here. I think here. what she's gaining. Oh, no bargain. No. Oh, well, do me best. Yeah. She's all right, you know, is Rita. I mean, she is for me. If I work on this, there's no reason why it, it shouldn't be a success. I'm not going to get a third chance. No. Good luck, kid. Be happy. Thank you, darling. See you. in a book, people would have said it was too far-fetched. I mean, letting the plane fly off without her. Yeah, it would have been Hollywood, wouldn't it? Ooh. Hey, suppose... Suppose she said she'd changed her mind and then he turned round and said he had. Pardon? Well, she decided she wasn't going to Tenerife and then he decided he didn't want to get married after all. Why would he do that? Well, he might have only asked her because he knew she was going away. Didn't think there was much chance of her accepting. Oh, I think that's a very cynical comment to me. Yeah, so do I. I blame my husband for that, who's cynical about most things. Do you know, he reckons they won't even get as far as the altar. He says they've been nearly there too many times. He's even made me a bet oh, on that's it. That's horrible. Yes, he can be horrible as well as cynical. Still, it was the beast in him that attracted me in the first place. You know, I'm glad I didn't wait till I was her age to get a gold ring. I mean, by the time I'm as old as Rita, I could have a grandchild and still be young enough to enjoy my own life. Not all of us fortunate enough to be able to do just what we want to do, just when we want to do it. Have I said so much? Oh, no. Oh, see ya. Oh. I never thought I'd be doing this today. You mean with me? I mean with anybody. <laughs> Didn't you have somebody lined up ready to jump in my shoes the minute I taxied off runway? How did you know about them? Oh, seriously. Haven't we got to talk? 
Talking is the last thing I want to do. Well, we have. I mean, um, little details like dates and things. That is assuming you still want to get married. You can take it that at this moment in time, the answer's in the affirmative. Councillor Fairclough, you are in the chair. How about June? Nah, it's too far away. Only two months. And I'll be two months older. Now we've wasted enough time as it is. Eager beaver. Well, there's no point in hanging about. It's not as if we've got to find somewhere to live, is it? Mm -hmm. No, we've both made up our minds. Let's get on with it. Let's uh, call the bands. Do you mean you won't get married in three weeks? Yeah. Why not? Well, I'm going into work for a start. Uh, it doesn't take you three weeks to do that. And then there's all the rest. I mean, you want a bit of a reception. You're not planning on putting a ladder against bedroom window, are you? I was hoping to. And eloping. Mm, yes. Listen, if they don't actually see us married, they'll never believe we're married. Ginger, we are going to push the boat out in style, and not for their benefit, for yours. Well, a little party would be nice. It'll be the biggest do they've seen around here since VJ night. Well, we'd better get down to register office and book a date. Then we can look for somewhere to have reception. Can't have it here, it's too small. Registry office? Why, reg why not a church? Do you want to get married in the church? Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Funnily enough, I do. Huh. Put him out! I can't, it's pouring. And he's been sitting on doorstep all afternoon waiting for me. He knows me. He knows a mug when he finds one. Is that you? I did then! What shall I do with him? Shouldn't let me jump her. Oh, so the whole family's here, is it? Well, he just followed us in. Yes, well, he would, wouldn't he? I mean, he knows which side his bread put on, doesn't he? You did right to call him Albert. He knows where to get free grub and all. Well, you don't mean... No, I don't mean. He's already eaten me out of house, gnome. Don't tell me that cold pork in the fridge got up on its own two legs and walked out. Four? Pigs have got four legs. And octopuses have got eight, and we've got none of that in the fridge for us suppers either. Was hungry, Elsie. You can't stand by and watch a living thing starve. Oh, well, in that case, get round to Jackson's Chippy and get three lots of fish, chips and peas. He's pouring. It was you that said you couldn't stand by and watch a living thing starve. We'll have to if you don't get round to J Jackson's quick. That's what we've got now, Telsin. You go. You're the one that lumbered us. We'll both go. Well, what about King Kong? Can't you stay? No, we can't. I've told you. We're all out at work. How can he? Well, you won't mind as long as we come on and see him at lunch hour. Look, love, when you get your new landlady in your new digs, ask her if she objects to animals. In the meantime, keep your mind on what you're doing. Oh, all right. He can stay for tonight as long as he doesn't keep me awake with his yowling. Oh, he won't yowl as long as he's dry and fed. Now, now, Willie. Oh, oh, look, you, you better get him a tin of dog food or something oh. uh, uh, from the corner shop here. You are kind, Elsie. Honestly, you're smashing. Uh, yes, and I shall want pay him back. Remember that, which should have been today, if I might remind you. Oh, of course. I'll get you a small bottle of eggnog as well as my treat. Oh, never mind the flattery, just skedaddle. Oh, on second thoughts, make it half a bottle and tell her to put it on the account. I could do with a booster. Well, don't act that way. It's not been my day either. No, I, uh, I think you can. Anyway, the vicar will let you know. Yeah, it's just that I don't want to look a complete idiot. You know, I have been divorced. Yeah, but then your ex-wife died, didn't she? So, technically, you're a widower, I suppose. Anyway, I don't think it matters nowadays. I think if you, even if you have been divorced, you can get married in church. Some vicars kick up a fuss. It's what Rita wants, is it? Yeah, it's what I want, too. But don't look so surprised. I'm not a complete heathen, you know. Well, you want the lot? Top hats, tails and carnations? Well, I'm not too sure about the top hat and tails. Well, not for the girls, anyway. But I could do with all the rest of it, like you say. The lot, yeah. Church bells, wedding bells, everything, yeah. It talks like a lovesick teenager. Yeah, well, he's happy, isn't he? Well, why oh, not? Anyway, you've got a great girl there, Len. You don't need me to tell you that, of course. It's team, aren't we? You're next, you know. Oh, do me a favour. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that to be a joke in bad taste. What I'm saying is that you've got the whole of the rest of your life before you, haven't you? I mean, a, a fella shouldn't be on his own. Are you listening to this? It concerns you. Recruiting at club already. I just don't want you two to be a couple of old maids, that's all. Think about it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, where is she, then? Deserted you already, I She's Asher. probably waiting for little Mavis. I promised her a slap-up do tonight. Mm. And she'll earn it. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes for the next few weeks. Can you imagine? Dan's Rita will lead her. Why should she? Oh, come on. She'll be that busy getting her little self organised. She'll hardly have time to set her toe inside that cabin. And who's going to be the Cinderella of that little outfit, eh? Mavis. Mavis. I'm sorry, Rita. I don't understand you. Well, it's very plain. I'm back. 
Yes, but I'm the manageress now. Mr. Fairclough appointed me. Only because I wasn't going to be here. But I am here. So but we're back to square one. That's not fair. You can't just walk out and then walk back in again as if... As if, as as if, if nothing had happened. Yeah. I haven't. I've got myself engaged and I'm going to be married. Yes, I know that, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about my job. Mavis, love, be reasonable. I'm not only coming back. I'm coming back as the boss's wife. You don't surely think you can still be in charge, do you? Well, I don't see why not. I mean, an agreement's an agreement. Look, I don't want any arguments tonight. I'm supposed to be happy. So come on, let's get going or you'll think I've gone to Tenerife after all. <laughs> Leave it. Oh, no. No, no, no. It might be somebody who wants to know what I want for a wedding present. Uh, it's going to be a big do, is it? Look, select, Ellen. I don't think your Hilda needs to bother taking a mink out of mothballs. No, I don't think anyone need bother ironing their party frocks because I think I've been stood up. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Oh, there you go. Last, my darling. Have you been behaving yourself out of my sight for the last couple of hours? Mavis, what is your pleasure? Oh, I don't know. I can never think when anybody asks me what I want to drink on an occasion. Make your way along the shelves, love him, and you can't go wrong. <laughs> have a snowball. A large please. snowball, please, oh, darling. Okay. And what about your friend? My friend will have a vodka and lime. Can I have a word? Hey, just change the mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, darling? Something wrong? Uh, just had a phone call from my agent. A bit nasty. Yeah. Uh, about me letting him down, not going to Tenerife. You told him you were getting married. Yeah, but he said not to make any plans for a honeymoon because I might be required in court. Oh, John. And don't forget, there's our classic Coronation Street omnibus on Sunday at 5 o'clock. Stay with us next tonight for the latest food, fashion and fads in the Good Life Guide. <laughs>